so let's add smoothing to our rotation so I'm going back to my script and right here you can see that we are directly setting our Euler angles to that so instead what we are going to do is we are going to create a float called rotation and what we are going to do is cut all of that and paste it right here and for smoothing we are going to use so actually we don't have to do that so what we are going to do is we are going to smooth that value by using mathf dot smooth damp angle now this is going to take the current angle and the target angle and then it is going to take the smooth time and the uh, reference variable for the current velocity so let's uh, put our uh, the current uh, angle so the current angle is going to be transform dot Euler angles dot y so because we are only rotating at the y axis so that's why we just have to put the current y rotation and the target is going to be our rotation so which is that float variable and the third one is going to take it is going to take the uh, float as a current velocity so let's define here so current velocity and we don't have to do anything with that it is just required by that function that function is going to use that uh, float in his calculation so just put here but uh, make sure to put a ref keyword so now the last is the smooth time so how much time the smooth angle smooth damp angle should take to smoothly transition from this angle to that angle so we can define let's say 0.25 or we can uh, simply create a new float here so public float and we can call it smooth rotation time and we are going to set it to 0.25 now copy that and instead of hard coding we are going to put that in here now let's quickly go back to our editor and test it out so now that you can see our rotation is much more smoother <coughs> so let's go back and maybe change the speed of our character because our character is moving very fast so right here we have hard coded the speed so instead we are going to create a new public float and let's set it to maybe three and we are going to copy that and instead of hard coding we are going to make use of that variable now let's quickly go back you can see the movement is the rotation is now much more smoother so let's uh, smooth our translation a bit so to smooth it what we are going to do is we are going to create a new float with the name target speed and this target speed is going to be exactly equal to that so we are going to save that in here now then what we are going to do is we are going to create a new variable so which is going to be the current speed 
and in here what we are going to do is we are going to say current speed is going to equal to mathf dot smooth damp and from current speed we are going to transition to the target speed uh, we are going to smoothly transition towards the target speeds and we are going to give it a reference for velocity right here so that the function can use it by referencing and for the smooth time we can say 0.1 f so right here we are going to replace that with our current speed so what we are doing here is actually it's simple we have a current speed which is going to be uh, zero and we are going to set it to equal to uh, from that towards the target speed so target speed is going to be whatever move speed we have defined into input direction dot magnitude so this is the target and this is the current so we are smoothing it out by from going from current speed to target sp speed in that amount of time and finally we are going to translate it by using newly updated smooth value so let's save that and go back to our editor you can see we are moving smoothly and after adding animation it will look more smooth so that's it for this video and if you have any questions regarding any of that please feel free to ask me anything you want